Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott and welcome to Power Yoga Classic, a simple but strong flow that will get your body moving, will challenge your strength, and hopefully give you a nice good sweat in a very soulful way. Now this practice is from Inner Dimension TV, a monthly yoga meditation streaming platform that has all my programs, series, classes. What you see here on YouTube is just the appetizer. And if you'd like the full course meal, come check us out at Inner Dimension TV. It is there for you to deepen your practice, to take it to a whole other level. Also, I wanna hook you up with three free classes. So down in the top of the comments, make sure you hit that link so I can get those classes to you. And lastly, most importantly, hit that subscribe button down below and have a beautiful flow. Welcome to Power Yoga Classic. Let's go ahead and get started in a very first child's pose. So bring the big toes together. Let the knees open out towards the edges of the mat. Allow the hips to melt back towards the heels, back towards the feet. Forehead resting down onto the ground, or you could always put a block underneath the forehead. And we just take a couple minutes here before we start to move the body, before we start to get into our flow, to start to create that space between you and the events of the week, you and the events of the day. So imagine you're just slipping into this world of yoga. Allow the mind to settle and quiet. And as the great teacher Ram Dass says, the quieter the mind becomes, the more that you can hear. And what he's referring to hearing is not something outside of yourself so much as something inside of yourself. And it's that inner voice that's gonna tell you how far to go into the pose or when to pull out of the pose, or when to stay exactly where you're at when you found your sweet spot within the pose. And if you can do that, you're guaranteed to leave this practice feeling incredible. From here, start to create that movement of breath, gliding in and out through the nose. As you draw those inhales all the way down, towards the bottoms of the lungs. Most of our day, we don't touch the bottoms of the lungs. In our yoga practice, you wanna pull each and every inhale down as deep as it'll go. And your breath is your fuel. Your breath is an anchor for your mind. You know that as long as you're focused on that breath, you're not thinking about other things in yoga. And the deeper the focus, the deeper the concentration, the deeper the experience will be. Smooth that breath out and allow that fluidity of the breath to inspire the way that you flow through this practice. And in Power Yoga Classic, you get an equal dosage of strength, balance, flexibility, and stamina. But let's see if we can do it that yogic way. If at any point you ever wanna take a break, feel free to drop your knees and just know that child's pose is always there for you if you want. So with your breath in that flow and with your mind deep in that yoga zone, let's go ahead and start to build a sweet power yoga classic flow. Come all the way up to tabletop pose, all fours position. Stack the shoulders above the wrists. Set the knees beneath the hips. Spread wide through the fingertips. And then go ahead and lift your left leg off the ground parallel to the floor. Extend your right arm straight out in front of you. Just coming into that very first physically active pose of the class, sunburn. Take those two lifted limbs. Draw those out away from each other as you create that tractioning effect through the torso, through the spine. 
Take one last big inhale, pull it out, lift it up. And then exhale, set it down. Tabletop pose. Go ahead and switch sides. Lift your right leg up. Extend that left arm straight out in front of you. As you flex that back right foot, turn all five right toes down towards the ground so your right hip is even with the left hip. Spiral that inner left bicep to the sky. Spread those left fingers wide. Take one last big inhale, find the edge. And then exhale, set it down, tabletop pose. Step back to plank, upper push-up position. Take a couple breaths there as you draw back to the heels. Firm the thighs, engage the core, extend that heart forward. Shift forward onto the tips of the toes. Take a good by inhale there. Lower slowly all the way down on the out breath, right onto the ground. Keep the hands as is, release the tops of the feet. Extend back to the toes. And then cobra number one on the inhale, float the chest up. And then exhale, lower down slow. Good, a few more like that. Inhale, chest draws up, and then exhale, lower down. Three more times, inhale, rise to your own sweet degree. Exhale, down easily. Good, two more, inhale, chest up, shoulders back, collarbones wide, and exhale down. One more time, inhale, come up. When you get to the top, hold there. Take a couple of extra breaths and allow your back to cook. Allow that stimulation to penetrate into the spine. Take one last inhale, find the edge, and then down dog exhale. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, drop the head. And there it is. First downward facing dog of the class. See if you can scan your awareness to your body. Check in, see how you're feeling, how you're doing today. And the good thing is, is that whatever you're feeling is perfect. Whether you're feeling tender and tight, or whether you're feeling strong, open, energetic, and supple, your yoga practice, it doesn't need you to be anything other than what you are. So you breathe into what's there. You work with what you got. Spread the hands out a little bit wider than the shoulders. Spread those fingers out wide like the rays of a sun. Press strong to the hands, feel that stability as you draw those hips high to the sky. The hips are high, the heels are low, the head dangles free, and that breath always in that rich fluid flow. Take another inhale, gently press back to the hips. And then exhale, walk the feet forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Spread the feet out about the width of the hips. And then slide the hands up to the shins right beneath the knees into a first flat back. And then enjoy a couple breaths there. As you take your heart, you extend it forward and out, away from that lower back. Chin slightly tucking in, neck is long, eyes steady, breath steady, mind steady, and the movements, the transition steady as well. Take another inhale, pull that heart out a little further, and then forward fold, exhale, melt down. Put a little bend into the knees, bring the hands all the way up to the waist, press down to the feet, lead through the heart, and then on an inhale, rise and fly, both arms all the way up to the sky above. And then exhale, hands to prayer, just bringing it right back to center. Take a moment here, close the eyes, bring that awareness back inward, back inside. And then let's chant the mantra, Om together one time. Take a nice, big, deep inhale through the nose. Good, 
Blink the eyes open. Release the arms down, mountain pose. Tadasana. Arms up to the sky. On the inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale, float all the way over and down. Flat back, inhale, heart reaches out. Step back to plank, upper push up, lower down, same exhale, breathing out. Cobra on the inhale, chest floats up. And then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. As that breath flows in and as that breath flows out, allow that breath to move across the back of the throat so you create that ujjayi breath sound, that sound of the wind. And we'll take that wind of the breath now and we'll start to find just our first initial warm-up series flow. Sun salutations A. Big inhale, stretch back to the hips. Exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart reaches out. Forward fold, exhale, head low. Circle those arms up to the sky, inhale. Both hands to prayer, exhale. Arms up on the inhale, reach. Forward fold, exhale, chest out over the thighs. Flat back, inhale, sternum out. Step or jump back, lower down, same exhale. Cobra on the inhale, open wide. And then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. And then this time in down dog, feel free to walk out your dog. So alternate one heel down towards the ground, pedaling side to side a few times. Just stretching the backs of the legs, the heels, the calves, the knees. And just working through those kinks, untying those knots, getting that energy flowing, moving through the body. Good, inner hands nice and strong, undersides of the knuckles glued into the mat. Take a big inhale, stretch back, exhale, walk, or jump top of the mat. Fly back, inhale, heart reaches out, forward fold, exhale, dissolve in. Circle those arms to the sky, inhale, root to rise, and hands to prayer, bring it inside. Nice, you guys. Arms up, inhale, reach, upper salute. Forward fold, exhale, moving with that breath. Flat back, inhale, draw the air down deep. Step or jump back, lower down with that upper body strength. Cobra on the inhale, just till it feels good. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Now really wrap those outer shoulders back so you broaden through the upper back. You create that space between the inner arms and the sides of the neck. At the same time, hug those forearms in towards the middle of the mat. Take another inhale, press back through the tops of the thighs. Exhale, walk or fly. Fly back, inhale, warming the body up. Forward fold, exhale with gravity. Circle the arms to the sky with levity. Hands to prayer, we call it Anjali. Circle it up on the inhale, reach it high. Forward fold, exhale, blending that breath, body and mind. Flat back, inhale, stern them out. Step or jump back, lower down, core strong. Cobra on the inhale, open up. And then down dog, exhale. Good, and things start to happen. You start building the warmth. And as the body gets warm, things just start to loosen up. So you stoke that fire and you burn those impurities away. Take a big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or float top of the mat. Fly back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Circle those arms up to the sky, inhale. Hands to prayer, pause there. Good, bend the knees, squat back to the hips, and then chair pose. 
Go ahead and take those arms all the way up to the sky as you shift the weight back into the heels. So you're light in the toes, you're heavy in the heels. Shift back into the hips so that you're light in the knees. And as those arms reach up, allow the outer arms to wrap forward. So you turn those little fingers in slightly. Sit back a little bit deeper, find that edge. Take one last inhale, don't forget to smile, Bernice. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back inhale, spine draws out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra up dog, inhale open. Downward dog, exhale. Good, now lift the right leg up on the inhale. And then right knee to the belly on the exhale. Shoulders above wrists, knee to forehead. Now pull the right leg back, inhale. And then top of the mat on the exhale. Spin the back foot flat. And then warrior one, rise both arms all the way up to the sky. Nice generous bend in that front right knee. So stack that right knee right above that right heel. Seal solid through the outer blade of that left foot. And then take that outer left hip, turn it forward as you spiral that inner left thigh back. Just like you did in chair, arms are reaching up, shoulders are drawing down, neck is long. Take one last inhale, reach up. And then exhale, vinyasa, all the way down, same exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Second side, left leg up on the inhale. And then left knee to the belly, engage the core. Extend the left leg back, inhale. And then top of the mat, exhale. Spin the back foot flat, and then rise up, warrior one. So these warrior poses are a reminder of what yoga gives us, that gift of strength, that gift of fearlessness, that gift to really explore what challenges us, what confronts us, to explore that so that we really start to awaken these different faculties within us. But it takes that mindset of strength and courage. Take one last inhale, reach up, full expression, and then vinyasa all the way down, elbows in, weight forward. Cobra or up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Take a big inhale, press back, sink in. Exhale, walk or jump, both feet through again. Flat back inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees, squat back. Chair pose, we'll hold there for about five or so breaths. So feel the glutes, feel those legs waking up. You guys do enough chair poses and you'll have buns of steel just like Scott here. Good, squat down a little deep. Take one last inhale chair, stand up, hands at prayer. Woo! All right, you guys, now we're gonna take what you just did. We're gonna flow that, pick up the pace, and lift this class to the next level. So here we go. On an inhale, squat back, lift up and reach for chair. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Good, right leg up, inhale. To that belly, exhale. Extend it to the back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale, back foot flat. Warrior one, rise up. Vinyasa all the way down. Steady, fluid, smooth. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, in that flow. Left leg up, inhale. To the belly, exhale. Extend it to the back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise, reach up, and then vinyasa, all the way down with control. Cobra, pull that breath down deep, and then down dog, exhale. 
Take an inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or spring top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, squat back. Chair pose, arms up, inhale. Stand up, hands to prayer. And cycle number two, inhale, bend the knee, squat back and reach. Forward fold, let it go. Flat back, inhale, breathe it deep. Step or jump back, lower down, defy gravity. Cobra, up dog, inhale, spread. Down dog, exhale. Good, right leg up, inhale. To the abdominals, exhale. Extend back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise up, light. Vinyasa all the way down, steady mind. Good, inhale, stoke in the fire. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, belly tap and touch. Inhale, thread back. Exhale, stick it top of the mat. Warrior one, inhale, rise with grace. Exhale, lower all the way down with a soft, relaxed face. Good, inhale, open up. Exhale, down dog. Big inhale, stretch back, sink in. Exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, squat low. Chair pose, arms up. Stand up, hands to prayer. Round number three. Inhale, sit back, lift and reach. Forward fold, exhale, they're still smiling somehow. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Step or jump back, lower down, slow. Cobra, inhale, arch the back. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, belly, feel the power there. Inhale, press long. Exhale, deep and strong. Inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Vinyasa all the way down, elbow shaving ribs. Inhale, open up, down dog, exhale. Last side, left leg up, inhale. To the belly, exhale. Extend back, inhale. Top of that mat, exhale. Inhale, rise up. And then Vinyasa all the way down, smooth as silk. Inhale, just like Thai Airways. Exhale back, downward facing dog, breathe. Woo! Good job, you guys. Take a big inhale through the nose. Side out the mouth, let it go. Oh, awesome. Let's do this. Now inhale, lift the right leg up. And then exhale, top of the mat, spin the back foot flat. And then warrior one, inhale, come all the way up. And then warrior two, turn to the left. So those of you that are practicing at home with us, these practices, these flows that you do, it's all here. We call it power yoga to empower you. Focus one breath at a time, one pose at a time, one moment at a time. You do what you can do and remember at any point, you can always drop the knees and take a break. You can take as many breaks as you want. This is your body and your yoga practice, so honor what you're feeling. Spread those feet out a nice stable distance. Line that right heel up with that back and her left arch. Sit down deep through the groin. Lift up tall through the chest. Spread out wide through the arms. And you guys, you know, these, these, uh, these are some of our fellow teacher trainings. They're formed so perfect. I don't even have anything to adjust. Look at them. They're just beautiful. Could you do something improper so we can show people what? Yeah, see how that knee comes back? We bend that right above the heel. Now she's coming forward, so she brings that spine straight up. You're great at being a bad student, Bernice. Good, from here, flip that right palm up to the sky and then reverse the warrior. Come all the way up and back. And the key is, is that as you come back, you wanna make sure that again, you don't straighten that front knee. If anything, maybe you could bend it deeper so that you create that trashing effect where the whole right side of the torso, the lat, the ribs, all the way down into the waist, all of that begins to expand. 
One last inhale, deep in that stretch. And then back to warrior two. Beautiful, now right forearm on top of the right thigh. Take the left arm straight up to the sky for modified side angle pose. If you want more, you can drop the right hand down on the floor onto a block or all the way to the inside of the right foot. So feel free to use those, those blocks when it's helpful for you. Now lean the right arm into the inner right knee and then take that outer right hip and see if you can wrap it underneath and in, keeping that front knee bending deep. At the same time, you firm that left eye in so you have that stability in the low back, the hips and the pelvis. Open up the left chest and then extend that left arm forward all the way and out, just creating one long, beautiful diagonal line of energy from the outer blade of the left foot all the way out through those left fingertips. Take that right shoulder, draw it back, right side of the neck is long. Give that one last reach, goodbye. And then reverse the warrior, inhale, come all the way up and back. And then vinyasa, cartwheel those arms. Take it all the way down in your flow. Inhale, power yoga, classic flow. Down dog, exhale. Second side, left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. And then warrior two, turn it to the right. Now this is one of my favorite sequences, you know, because it's challenging, but it's all simple stuff. There's really no arm balances or what we might call a level three pose, but yet you still get the sweat. Your muscles still get fatigued. But it's the type of class that's really accessible for a wide demographic of people. And again, hitting upon those key components, strength, balance, flexibility, stamina, but remember all within the context of being in a meditation. Put that left palm up to the sky, reverse the warrior, right hand out of right leg. Just being mindful that the right hand's not on your knee and that it's on your thigh or your hip, or maybe down onto the calf. Just depends on what feels right. Getting long to the left side of the torso. Beautiful, take one last inhale there. And then back to warrior two. Now left forearm on top of that left thigh. Right arm reaches with brilliance. Straight up to the sky. The lower body stays the same as the previous poses. You feel like you want more, not necessary, but you could drop your left hand down inside of your left foot, left leg onto the block. And then you lean that left arm into that inner left calf and knee. You wrap that outer left hip underneath and in. You firm that right thigh in, and you lift up through that back inner right arch, outer blade of that right foot sealing into the floor. Take an inhale, roll the chest open and then pull it forward. Utita, Parjvokonasana, extended side angle pose. Keep driving solid through that outer foot. Give that right hand one last reach. Reverse the warrior, inhale, come back. And then vinyasa, get out of there. Lower all the way down, light like air. Inhale, cobra, up dog, strong like steel. Downward facing dog, exhale, breathe. Oh. All right, you guys, in our power yoga classic flow, we get a little bonus, bonus warm-up series. We could call this our third warm-up flow. So little warrior dance, little warrior flow. Here we go, round one of three. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, top of the mat. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Warrior two, turn to the left. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Extended side angle, reach it out, exhale. Back up to reverse on the inhale, no big deal. Exhale all the way down. Oxygenated blood I feel. Huge inhale, heart wide. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, flow it deep. 
Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Warrior two, turn to the right. Reverse that warrior, inhale. Extend that side angle, exhale. Back to reverse, inhale, little dance. Vinyasa lower all the way down in this yoga trance. Good, inhale, 60 minute vacation. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, flow it deep. Warrior one, inhale, breath leads the way. Warrior two, spread it out. Come back, inhale to arch. Extend it out, side angle flow. Back up, inhale, reverse. And then vinyasa all the way down, stomach firm. Good, inhale, collarbones wide. Exhale, down dog, left side, left leg up, inhale. Top of that mat, exhale. Inhale, rise, reach it above. Warrior two, hit your spot. Reverse the warrior, inhale, come back. Extend it out like you're reaching to eternity. Back to reverse, inhale, and then vinyasa. All the way down, you could always skip a vinyasa. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, last round, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, flow it deep. Inhale, rise, reach it vertical. Exhale, spread horizontal. Reverse it, inhale, and then extend it out, exhale. Good, back up, inhale, one big sweep. And then vinyasa, lower all the way down with integrity. Inhale, pump the blood into the back. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. Top of that mat, exhale. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, turn it right side. Reverse it on the inhale. Extend it out, exhale. Good, back up, inhale in the flow. Vinyasa, lower all the way down in that yoga zone. Huge inhale, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog. Big inhale through the nose. Let it go. And then smooth that breath out. When you shape your breath, you shape your mind. Your mind and your breath are deeply connected. So you smooth the breath back out. And then that allows that mind to come back into that state of serenity. Now, right, you guys from here, float that right leg up, inhale steady. Top of the mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, come up. Warrior two, pause there. Straighten your right knee, right leg. Scoot your back foot in, maybe two, three inches closer. And then line your feet up heel to heel. So you may bring the right foot a little to the right. And then angle the back left toe slightly forward. And then on the inhale, reach out through that right arm. And then triangle pose. So right hand comes down, left arm up to the sky. And you guys have been moving nonstop since we started the practice. So allow this triangle pose to have a little bit of a restful quality to it. Because this pose doesn't take strength. Little, little balance, but mostly just a pose to create a lot of space in the body. You're wrapping that outer right hip underneath and in. You're firming that right big toe down into the ground. Good, spiral those left ribs to the sky. Stay with that breath always, consistently. Flow it in and out through the nose so it's more breathing practice than anything else. Spread open through that left chest and then extend that left arm all the way forward. Extended triangle. If you feel like you want more, you could take that bottom right arm and reach that all the way up and out. Always an option. Scott wants to turn the dial of intensity up a little bit. Claudia wants to turn the dial of intensity up a little bit. Denise wants to turn the dial up. And then we have Rachel over here. She's got her hand on the block, looking like a princess. Just breathing and chilling. Good, now right hand down, left arm to the sky, inhale. And then left hand, left waist bone on the exhale. Turn the gaze down and look about 12 to 14 inches out in front of the right foot. 
For our friends outside the U.S., that would be about 30 centimeters. Start bending that front right knee on the inhale, and then half moon shift all the way up onto that front right foot. But notice you didn't hold your breath. The moment you hold your breath is the moment that you hold and stifle your power. So you don't want to breathe less. You want to breathe more when you're in those challenging poses. Take the left arm, reach it to the sky. Take those inhales, breathe it down deep. Take that back foot, flex it, and extend out long and strong through that left foot, left leg. Good, stack the arms, stack the shoulders. If you fall out of the pose, it's all good. Falling's part of the human experience. You're also gonna fall in yoga. So just fall with breath. Now from here, put a little bend in that bottom right knee, and then float step all the way back, warrior two. Woo, reverse the warrior, inhale, and then vinyasa all the way down on the exhale. Cobra, up dog, inhale, and then down dog, exhale. How you doing over here, Maha? She's starting to sweat really good. Left leg lifts up, inhale, top of that mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, come up, and then warrior two. Straighten that left knee, left leg. Take your time, get the feet lined up, heel to heel. Find that right distance, about three and a half, four feet apart. Right toes angle forward, front leg straight. Yep, inhale, reach out. And then try angle pose on the exhale. And again, just a little break. But while you're having a break, Breathing into all those places where you feel space open up in your body. And what a great gift that these poses allow you to reverse the effects of gravity on the body. The more spacious you become, the less heavy, dense you are, the more light, the more free you are. Breathe into those spaces. Open up that right chest, inhale. Extend that right arm all the way out. Extended triangle, Uttita Trikonasana. Option if you want more to take the bottom left arm, reach it up and out. And you can always do something different on this side than the first side, that's totally fine. So listen to your body. What does it need right now? What is it asking for right now? Remember, you always have your hand on the control. You can turn the intensity up, you can turn it down, or you can keep the knob exactly where it's at. Left hand down, right arm up, inhale. Right hand, right waist on the exhale. Turn your gaze down, look out in front of that left foot, see your target. Start bending the left knee, inhale. And then distribute that weight all the way up onto that front left foot, left leg. And you can always use a block to go underneath the left hand. That's a good idea for a lot of people. Once you have stability, take that right arm and reach it high to the sky. Take every extended limb that you have and then draw it out away from your trunk. North, south, east, west. Breathe. Good little bend in that bottom knee. Float step back to warrior two, lightly. Reverse the warrior, inhale, and then vinyasa, all the way down on that exhale. Cobra, up dog, inhale, sweet back bend, and then down dog, exhale. Take a big inhale through the nose, out the mouth, let it go. All right, you guys, we got one last standing series. And uh, then we'll get down onto the back. So hang in there, let's finish strong. Lift that right leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Stay on the back left toes. And then crescent pose, take both arms and reach out all the way up to the sky. Very similar to your warrior one. Both hips facing forward, outer left hip turning forward. So those hips are that neutral rotation. Front knee bends right above the right heel. And as you charge back to this left leg long and strong, 
Sometimes it's nice to put a little bend in that back left knee. So then the tailbone drops down, the lower abdominals scoop up, and the whole upper body moves away from the bottom, leg descending low. Good, both hands to prayer in front of your heart. Start to lean forward on the inhale. Take flight on the exhale, airplane. Shift all the way up onto that right foot, right leg. You can spread your arms out. You can reach them down by the ribs. Imagine that you're aerodynamic and you're flying into a whole other paradigm inside of your mind. A paradigm where you're able to move through adversity with calmness and grace and equanimity. Good, from here, take the left hand, set it down underneath the left shoulder. Take the right arm, reach it to the sky. Remember, you could put a block underneath your left hand. Now, drive back through that left leg long and strong. Turn all five left toes down towards the ground. Good, take the inner thighs. Hug those in towards the midline. Take the top of the right thigh, draw it back. Take the heart, pull it forward. Take one last inhale, open up. Right hand down, but left leg still lifted, standing splits. Crawl your hands in towards your right foot, right leg. Curl your chin in towards your breastbone. And I know it's challenging. I know it's intense. I know you're struggling. But see if you can struggle calmly. Struggle with grace. Take one last inhale, left leg up. Set it next to right, top of the mat, release. Now, flat back, inhale, pull the heart out. Forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees, squat low. Chair pose, reach the arms up. Again, as promised, you are going to get buns of steel. Hands to prayer in front of the heart. Right elbow to the outer left knee, left eye. Chair twist. Now, make sure your knees are even with each other so that your right knee doesn't jut out further than the left. Squat back through the hips, pull up and out through the heart, turn those left ribs to the sky, and give your body a healthy squeeze. One last little twist, chair pose, inhale, rise and lift, forward fold, let it go. Woo, flat back, inhale, suck it deep, step or jump back, lower down with pure strength. Cobra, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. And here it is, the last standing series. Left leg up, inhale, flow at top of the mat, exhale, at your leisure. Crescent pose, rise, both arms all the way up to the sky. Foundation strong in that lower body. Outer right hip turning forward. Inner right thigh spiraling back. Top of that left thigh descending down towards the mat. So you're sinking the teeth of your lower body into the ground. And you feel that rapport into the floor. Mm. Beautiful. Both hands to prayer. Start to lean forward, tilt out on the inhale. Take flight like an eagle soaring through the sky. Spread the arms out or reach them down by the ribs. And whatever happens, breathe. You see, in yoga, we don't care about the end result. We're not worrying about perfectionism. In fact, if you want to perfect anything, perfect your ability to be compassionate with yourself. So whatever happens, it's all good. This is a yoga practice, not a yoga performance. You're just practicing poses. Take one more inhale to soar, and then both hands down to the floor. Keep the right hand underneath the right shoulder, and then take the left arm all the way to the sky. You don't want to miss this one, do you, Denise? Twisting half moon, I almost did. See if you can hug those inner thighs in towards each other. Pull your spine out because the longer the spine gets, then the more you can roll open to the twist. But you don't want to twist with a compressed spine. You want to twist with a long spine. Good. Now, one last thing. Take the top of that right thigh. Draw that up. Yeah. One more inhale there. Left hand down. Right leg in the air. 
standing splits. Walk your hands in towards your left foot, left leg. Maha over here has a whole sweat puddle going on. Good, allow the back of that left leg to lengthen, to strengthen, to get flush with blood. One more inhale, right leg up, flirt with the edge, set it next to left, top of the mat. Woo, flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knee, squat back. Chair pose, inhale, Utkatasana. Hands to prayer, and then twist it to the right. So left elbow over, out of right thigh. And this is it, you guys, your last standing pose. Before we get down onto the ground, just give that body a healthy squeeze. They say that 90% of the nourishment that feeds our brain, it comes from the movement of the spine. So that's what you're doing. You're twisting right, twisting left, forward bending, backward bending, sideward bending, turning it upside down so that your brain can get fed. One last squeeze there. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, forward fold, let it go. Flat back, inhale, oxygen deep. Step or jump back, lower down, last vinyasa. Cobra, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Take a big inhale through the nose. Ah, beautiful, you guys, you made it, good job. Take an inhale, press back, relax your knees down onto the mat. Crawl your knees forward towards the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release down onto the sit bones. Bring the soles of the feet together. So toes forward, heels in, knees open. Take a moment, wrap the outer hips downward. Take an inhale, pull the spine up. And then fold all the way over and down to your own degree. Coming into bound angle pose. So now taking advantage of some of that warmth that you created, because the warmer the body gets, the more malleable, the more pliable it becomes. So in yoga, you get that strength, but you also get that length. You get that flexibility. Because if you're doing all fitness that just does the strength, at some point, that strength becomes a hindrance. You lose the range of motion. So allow the inner legs, allow the inner thighs to just get a sweet touch. Good, from here, go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. Bring your hands to the outer knees. Close the knees together. Grab the hamstrings, the backs of the legs. Start to lean back ever so slightly and then float the shins off the ground. Setting up for boat pose. Extend the arms out in front of you. Take your chest, your heart, puff it up. Take those arms, draw those back into the shoulder sockets. Allow the head to fall back a little bit, chin slightly up. So your neck is in alignment with the rest of the spine. And that way you're not doing Billy Bob Thornton and sling blade. So let that head stay back. No sling blade action here. Good, now bring the hands together. Interlace all the fingers but the indexes. And then twist all the way over to the right side as you bring those side abdominals into the mix. Good. How about a little bit of obliques? Now come all the way over to the other side. When you feel the intensity, just breathe your way through it and know that the intensity is temporary. It doesn't last forever. Now come back down the middle. Spread the hands wide. Take one last inhale. Reach it up. Lower all the way down onto the ground. Woo! Oh. In a moment to just let that intensity subside. 
Oh. Good, you guys. Reach your hands forward. Grab your shin. Squeeze your knees in as we start to initiate the descent. Bring the feet flat on the floor, width of the hips. Slide the heels close in towards the hips. And then bridge balls. Press the feet down into the mat. Lift the hips off the ground. Tuck the shoulders underneath and in. You can interlace the fingers. You can reach forward, grab the ankles. Or if your shoulders are broad or tight, you could also grab the outer edges of your yoga mat. There's never just one way to do these poses. In fact, as men, many people as there are on the planet are as many ways you could see any yoga pose being executed. Because we all have different anatomy and physiology, different injuries that we've incurred, different histories. And that's the beautiful thing about the practice. You adapt it. You modify it to what feels right for you. Feel free to stay in bridge. If you'd like a deeper back bend, go ahead and bring the hands back by the ears. Fingers face forward. Get a good grip to the hands. And then as you're ready, press into the hands. Press the whole front of the body all the way to the sky. Spiral the inner thighs in towards the midline so you're safe in that lower back. You're safe in that sacrum. Try not to let those knees open out. Wherever you're at, one last inhale there. And then exhale, lower slowly all the way back down. Oh, reach forward, grab the shins. Bring your knees, bring your thighs in like you're giving yourself a little hug of gratitude. Thank you, body. Take the right ankle, set it on top of the left knee, left thigh. Right knee flares open to the right. And then you can take your right hand, right arm, slip it down through the legs, and either grab your left hamstring or your left shin. Reclining pigeon. Gently allow the left eye to come down as you wrap that outer right hip forward. And you give that right hip just a nice, easy touch. Keep the legs as is. Unthread that right arm. Extend the right arm out to the right and then wrap the right leg right over top the left leg. Take the knees all the way over to the left into a bent knee, reclining, spinal twist. Just let that left shoulder blade be heavy. Those knees gently release over to the left. You take the time to build the energy up. And just as important to take the time to bring the energy back down so that you can allow everything that you awakened, ignited, to have an opportunity to assimilate and to integrate into you. You can take the goodness of your yoga practice with you into the rest of your day. Taking that yoga off the mat is really what it's all about. Both knees all the way back up. Unwrap the legs. Grab the shins. Bring the knees back in. And then left ankle on top of the right knee, right thigh. Slip that left arm down through the legs. Getting those hands set, making sure that you flex that left foot and gently coaxing the right thigh in. 
as you wrap that outer left hip forward. If it feels right, just closing the eyes, bringing that awareness inward inside, letting the pose work its magic. As you're just here to breathe and to receive what your yoga practice has to offer you, which is so much, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the soulful. So not only is it a power yoga flow, but it's also a holistic yoga flow. Beautiful, unthread that left arm, extend it out to the left, wrap that left leg right over top the right, take the knees, all the way over to the right. Coming into a last final twist. And at this point in the practice, I really can't help but just be flooded with gratitude. Gratitude that I carved this, this time out of my day to get on inner domain media, to do my yoga practice. Gratitude that I made it through the practice and gratitude that I had the practice to bring me back to all those things that are important and meaningful to me. From here, go ahead and bring the knees all the way back up. Unwrap the legs, grab the shins, squeeze the knees in. And then finally, take one last inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees, give everything one last big squeeze. And then exhale, Shavasana. Release and relax all the way down onto the back. Good job, you guys. Just let that body find comfort. Let the breath become effortless and soft. Allow your whole body from the top of the head all the way down to the fingertips and the toe tips to relax, to soften. Just allow yourself to sink deep to that final pose of rest and relaxation. Shavasana.
everybody from here nice and easy. Just start to bring that awareness back into the body. Just lightly moving the fingertips and the toes. As you come back into the body, just bring it with you. Whatever it is that you just dropped into. From here, go ahead and reach your arms and hands up over your head. Interlace the fingers. Turn the palms inside out. Bring the legs together. And as you stretch back to the arms, stretch your feet and your toes forward, enjoying a nice, good, full body stretch. Reach the hands forward, grab the shins. Bring the knees and thighs into the belly. And then go ahead and gently rock and roll all the way up to a last final cross-legged seated position. As you get up to seated, bring the hands to prayer, sitting up tall but relaxed, keeping the eyes closed, forehead slightly bowed down, just as a gesture of honoring Honoring body, honoring self, honoring practice. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And namaste. All right, you made it to the end of the video. Not everybody does, but you did, so congratulations, well done. Remember to get those three free classes and check us out at Inner Dimension TV. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for your practice, and I'll see you next time on your mat.